Archeo the Infamous NWO back with another video doing my WWE Elimination Chamber 2012 pay per view review. First match of the night we had the Raw Elimination Chamber match between CM Punk, um, Dolph Ziggler, R Truth, The Miz, who am I also missing? Chris Jericho, Kofi Kingston. And I was able to see the first 20 minutes of this match because of you due to technical issues on my pay-per-view provider, Rogers, if for those who live in Canada. Someone's texting me right now! Who is texting me? Why? I mean, text messages. Just, just people just blowing up my phone while I'm making videos. Anyways, so I was unable to see the first 20 minutes of the match, so I wasn't able to watch the pay-per-view up until 8.30, I believe it was. Yeah, so I believe that our truth was eliminated when I started watching. But yeah, um, very... I thought the Raw Elimination Chamber was a very good Raw Elimination Chamber match. It was very entertaining. And uh, just so much hype when that face-off that we were waiting for. CM Punk versus Chris Jericho, and they went at it. And then um, Chris Jericho eliminated um, Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler sells like gold when he sells that uh, code breaker. Beat Dolph Ziggler, made Kofi tap out. In the real walls of Jericho, he did the real walls where he puts his knee on the head and cranks the back. That thing looks like he kills. Then he did the fake Boston Crab version of the walls of Jericho and then made Kofi tap out. And then it was down to the final three and um, Miz, CM Punk, and Jericho. And then J uh, Punk did this kick to the head and Jericho fell out of the chamber and into the ground and got a concussion. So he was eliminated out of the match, and and then it was down to CM Punk and The Miz. And The Miz beat CM Punk and then retained his WWE Championship. Very good match, and now this makes sense, where they didn't need to put the belt on Jericho. CM Punk still has a belt, still the face, still on top of the championship world. Punk said he had, I mean, Jericho said next tonight on, well, tomorrow night on Raw, he hasn't been eliminated, he'd be two competitors, he would have beat Punk if he was still in the cha um, chamber match, and he didn't get kicked to the head and got knocked out unconscious and wasn't taken out of the match. So yeah, this is a build from the CM Punk vs. Jericho storyline, and um, yeah, going right into it, yeah, this would be great, but six weeks to Mania, six, exactly six weeks from today will be WrestleMania 28, crazy, but yeah, um, I believe there's six rows, five or six rows, I can't remember. Yeah. Anyways, um, great elimination chamber match, and the next matchup we got the uh, Diva Championship match. Uh, Tamina versus Beth Phoenix. Actually, it was a very, very good uh, Diva match. We haven't seen a really good women's wrestling match in a long time, and I, I thought this was a pretty decent match. And um, Beth Phoenix ended up getting the victory, but there were some points of the match where you thought Tamina was going to beat Beth Phoenix, and overall good match. Next up, we had a segment, I believe, between no, we I don't I don't know if we had the segment or not now or it was later on, but I believe it was either it was before the SmackDown Chamber match or the after it. It was between um, what was it? Oh, um, Lauren Ice coming out and saying how he should be the new Raw GM and SmackDown GM. Del Rio coming out saying that. Uh, Mark Henry coming out saying that. Christian coming out saying that. And, uh, yeah, and then they all took pictures, and then, uh, they all left the ring. So that was a waste of time. And then the SmackDown Elimination Chamber match was Daniel Bryan versus Greg Colley, versus Santino Morello versus Big Show versus Wade Barrett versus Cody Rhodes. And this was actually Big Show and Barrett end up starting up the, starting off the match. And throughout the whole pay-per-view, actually, they were actually doing, like, a Rocky thing with, um, Santino Morello, so I was like, oh god, don't tell me Santino Morello's gonna be the last person in the chamber match, and lo and behold, I was right, but overall, it was a actually a pretty good chamber match. I honestly personally liked the Raw chamber match over the SmackDown chamber match. The crowd was way more into the uh, SmackDown chamber match than the Raw chamber match. Everyone was going nuts for Santino when he came out. I believe he was the third person that came out, Danielson was the last person that came out. There's one spot where, uh, Daniel, uh, Big Show broke the chains in Danielson's pod and jumped in through the top and started beating up Danielson. And then Danielson got out because the pod finally opened up. Um, and uh, Wade Barrett looked really strong in this match because he was the last three, the one of the last competitors competitors in the match. Big Show pretty, sorry, Kali came in the match, chopped people, not 
knocked everyone out. Big Show did Spear, and then um, Kali was eliminated with like 30 seconds to a minute into the match. Um, Rhodes looked really good in the match, and then he lost all his momentum. He beat Big Show, and then Santina comes with the Rhodes and kills Rhodes' momentum completely. Um, and the final three, uh, I believe that, what was it? I think Santino got the pin on Barrett and eliminated Barrett. And Odante Danielson and Marella. And some moments in the match you thought, you thought for one second that said, the, the, the WWE actually going to put the belt on Santino tonight. It was probably going to be one of the worst moments ever. But thank God that Daniel, Danielson got the uh, label lock, made Santino tap out. It looked like Santino was about to get out in the label lock, but he actually made it out. And then retained his championship. Sheamus came out, challenged him for the belt, and then, yeah, Sheamus versus Danielson. The match we were supposed to see last year at WrestleMania 27 that they advertised that would air on pay-per-view ended up being the dark match for the United States Championship is now one of the main events of WrestleMania 28. So, surprising, the same exact match that was the dark match of WrestleMania 27 is now the one of the main event mass matches of WrestleMania 28 for the World Heavyweight Championship. In just one year. No matter one year changes. But, yeah, I think that Sheamus will be Danielson, and um, we will see a new World Heavyweight Champion, Sheamus, at WrestleMania 28. So I'm locking my locks are so far for Mania 28. Punk to retain, Sheamus to win the belt. And now we had the uh, we had the U.S. Championship match, Dan um, Justin Gabriel versus Swagger. I honestly wasn't paying attention during this match, so I can't tell you if it was good or bad or not. But then we got the main event of the evening. We had. Well, I'm saying I'm sounding like I'm watching UFC. <laughs> we had the main event of John Cena versus Kane in the ambulance match. And going to the match, I said for sure that Cena had to win this match to look strong. Because you're facing The Rock in six weeks. You're going to lose a match. You can't lose. You're, WWE is not going to make you lose a match. Because why are you going to lose a match now and face The Rock at the main event of WrestleMania? Because that match is going on last. Sure, if this match is going on last at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. But uh, overall, it was a pretty, actually, entertaining match. I actually enjoyed the Kane versus Cena match. Back and forth, um, Kane had his moments, Cena had his moments. Cena embracing the hate <coughs> against uh, Kane. Um, it was actually pretty good. They brawled through the crowd a little bit. And then Cena did the ending where he F-U'd um, Kane from the top of the ambulance onto a part of uh, the stage where you couldn't see, so there's padding there. Got Kane threw him in the ambulance. Cena is your winner. There was no big surprise that people were saying something big was going to happen. Nothing big. I thought The Rock was going to come out and try to screw over Cena. Zack Ryder was not involved in this match. And they made it sound like this is the end of the thing. Now, Cena, time for Cena to focus on The Rock. So I guess they're... Whatever. Well, this WWE has done this so many times, so you can't really complain about how WWE cut off storylines just like that. So there's no Ryder and Eve and Kane, which will probably result tomorrow of making Zack Ryder face Kane at WrestleMania... 28 and Eve will get involved somehow, which makes sense. And so they distance this from Cena. Cena has nothing to do with this. Cena from The Rock for the next six weeks. Just, um, yeah, and uh, I'm predicting right now, but right before I make the, my WrestleMania predictions, because I'll be making them throughout the weeks, I'm um, just saying that when I do my Raw reviews, that, but I, my lock is Cena to win this match against Rock. Seems pretty obvious, like how Rock, um, Rock went over Hogan 10 years ago, Cena will go over Rock. 10 years later at WrestleMania 28. So that is my review of the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. Was able to watch it free, live in HD, since they screwed up the stupid lag on um, pay-per-view, the technical difficulties, and I was telling them. Like, I just told them, like, I they, well, I don't understand. The thing that bothered me, too, the, why did they put the CM Punk match on first? They couldn't put the SmackDown match on first, but I guess they are trying to build Santino, which, really? Come on, really? But, um, Whatever. What are you gonna do? If if they didn't put that match on first, I might have would have. Well, I actually would have. I was. I still would have complained, and it didn't matter. But yeah, I just have to go back and rewatch that match. I'll find my way to rewatch that match. Obviously, I know how to. And that is my Elimination Chamber pay per view review overall. I give the show a seven, seven and a half, ten. No, I give it a seven. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed my review. Go check out the Chamber matches if you didn't, and find a way. And we are on the. Official Road to Mania. Oh, also, if you didn't watch the Taker promo on YouTube, go watch that. He said he will be confronting Triple H tomorrow on Raw. That's all.